There are a number of different ways to make money in Disney Dreamlight Valley, but you're probably wondering what's the best way to make tons of money in Disney Dreamlight Valley and fast. And you may also be wondering which biomes to unlock first in order to do so. By the end of this video, you'll know the answer to both those questions. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna be talking about farming. In my opinion, farming is the easiest and most efficient way to make the most amount of money. Now you'll talk to other players who may say cooking is a great way or mining, but for me, it's farming. And I'm gonna show you exactly which biomes you need to unlock in order in order to make the most money. So the first place that we're gonna head to is the Peaceful Meadow. The Peaceful Meadow is completely free starting out, which means you don't have to spend any money to unlock this biome, which is wonderful. And starting out, we have carrots. And carrots are gonna be what we're farming to make a good amount of money starting out. Now I've mentioned this in previous videos, but I will mention this here again because it's super important. When you are gardening, please don't ever forget to bring your buddy along with you, whoever you have assigned as gardening as a role, you wanna bring them with you because you're gonna get extra resources back. Now for the sake of the video, I won't be demonstrating it with a buddy because I just wanna sell 50 to show you like money wise what you can get but always bring your buddy with you another tip that i want to show you in this video too that's really important for you to point out is that you're going to want to plant these seeds in the biomes that you purchase them from so we're in the peaceful meadow like i mentioned and we have carrots and you can see the little white and green arrow that's above the carrots right there that means that there's a speed boost that you get when planting carrots in the right biome. So when you go to Goofy Stall, wherever it's located, those seeds that you buy from that stall are going to have a speed boost if planting them in that biome. So you don't have to plant them there, but if you wanna do this the quickest way possible, then I highly recommend planting your seeds in the right biomes. As you can see here, I have about 50 carrots and for the sake of the video, I've done plots of 50 to show you when we sell, how much money you can make. But take that with a grain of salt because I would recommend making bigger plots than 50. Now here's why I recommend carrots and this will be the theme for the video because it requires 10 star coins to purchase carrots and they sell for 66. So when I started out in the game, I had a plot of like 100 to 200 carrots that I just planted and sold over and over and over and I made really good money that way before I had other biomes unlocked. So this is definitely where you wanna start if you're new to the game. So let's start by harvesting all of our carrots. The other reason why I recommend farming is because as you can see, you can just hold one button and continuously farm. It requires literally no effort to harvest your crops. So that's another reason why I recommend farming. So again, to purchase 50 carrot seeds, it's 500 star coins. And to sell all 50 carrots, we would make 2000 star coins. So the profit is amazing. And again, it's really easy to do. And carrots grow relatively fast as well. So remember, if you're starting out, this is the first place you wanna start making money plant and farm carrots continuously. Now, originally, I might have told you that the next biome that you need to unlock is the Glade of Trust. And I don't know why I ever suggested this because the Glade of Trust in terms of farming is really not gonna be your best friend. Let me show you what you should unlock next instead. The place you're gonna wanna unlock next is Dazzle Beach because it's the next most profitable area for you to start with. So let's talk about tomatoes. Tomatoes are great because you get three tomatoes per plant. Now, I'm not great with math, but I ran the numbers. So as you can see, tomatoes sell for 22 star coins, but you get three tomatoes per harvest. So that means technically what you're getting is 66 star coin profit. So I would definitely recommend tomatoes as your next venture. Now here's another reason why I recommend tomatoes and unlocking Dazzle Beach next, because tomatoes grow in about 25 minutes. Now you may hear other people talk about the Forest of Valor or the Glade of Trust as the next place to go, except those biomes are more expensive to unlock. And you can actually, if you're comparing to the Glade of trust you can see okra sells for 114 which is amazing but it takes two hours to grow so tomatoes take significantly less time to grow and in the span of waiting for your okra to grow you could harvest tomatoes four times over depending the quicker you harvest tomatoes and sell them the more money you would make if you just planted 50 okra and sold those in two hours hopefully that makes sense so again this is a plot of 50 let's go ahead and harvest and see how many tomatoes we get back so as you can see a plot of 50 tomatoes gives you a ton of tomatoes back tomato seeds cost eight star coins and 50 tomato seeds cost you around 400 star coins relatively inexpensive now in selling everything that we harvested we're gonna make four thousand one hundred and 
158 star coins. So the profit again is amazing and it doesn't take a lot of time. Now friends, the question is where do you go after Dazzle Beach? This could be debated, I guess, but we have the Glade of Trust next in the Forest of Valor. Now the difference between the Forest of Valor and the Glade of Trust is the Forest of Valor costs 300 Dreamlight to unlock, the Glade of Trust costs 5,000 Dreamlight to unlock. I'm going to tell you to go to the Forest of Valor and here's why. In the Forest of Valor, you can plant canola or you can plant onions. So if you go in your collections menu and go to ingredients, you can see that onions sell for 170 star coins and they grow in an hour and 15 minutes. The most profitable thing to plant and farm in the Glade of Trust sells for 114 star coins and that's okra and it takes two hours to grow. So onions not only sell for more, but they are ready in less time. Now canola is another big one that people say to sell in the Forest of Valor. Um, however, I don't like planting canola and the reason why is because it sells for less and you actually have to water it three times. Onions, you only have to water twice. Now you may wonder why that's important. For me, it's important because it takes more energy to harvest canola. So you have to be around to water it unless it rains in your valley, which you know we can't control. So here we are with all of our onions. This is another plot of 50, like I mentioned. We're gonna go through and harvest all the onions and see what we make. So out of everything that we've talked about today, onions cost 50 star coins, which is the most expensive. And for about 50 onions, it's gonna cost you 2,500 star coins. However, by this point, if you're following this video, then you have plenty of money in order to purchase onion seeds. But as you can see, selling 50 onions gets you 8,500 star coins, which is still really good profit. All right, so here we are in the Forgotten Lands. And let me tell you, this is the gem of all gems. The Forgotten Lands is where you wanna be if you wanna be a money-making queen or king, okay? Now, there are a couple of problems. Let's talk about it. So first things first, in order to get to the Forgotten Lands, you're gonna have to unlock the Sunlit Plateau before. So the Sunlit Plateau costs you about 7,000 Dreamlight. Okay, so you're gonna wanna save up for this, and that's why I recommend skipping the Frosted Heights or the Glade of Trust. The Glade of Trust costs 5,000 Dreamlight to unlock, and the Frosted Heights costs 10,000 Dreamlight. And neither one of these biomes are gonna really change the amount of money you make. The Forgotten Lands has pumpkins, and pumpkins is your money maker. So save your Dreamlight, unlock the Sunlit Plateau, and then unlock the Forgotten Lands. Now this may come as no surprise to many of you because everyone who plays Dreamlight Valley talks a lot about pumpkins, but pumpkins are your money maker. If your focus is money, everything you do should lead you up to this point. Now I always have a big, big plot of pumpkins to harvest and sell because when I run low on money, this is exactly where I come to. I actually plant pumpkins and all the other biomes as well, but let's come to Goofy Stall and let's talk about the numbers. So you buy pumpkins for 275 star coins, which is expensive, but it's also why we've been working to farm onions and everything else as I've talked about in this guide so far. So to buy 50 pumpkin seeds, it's gonna run you about 13,000, almost 14,000 star coins, okay? If you don't have the money, just remember all of the other tips I've already given you. Continue to farm onions, tomatoes, carrots, whatever you're working on. Continue farming and selling all of those vegetables so that you can make the money you need to make a purchase for pumpkin seeds. Even if you can only purchase a couple of pumpkin seeds, like 10 to start out, do that because it's gonna make you a lot of money. Now, I already have 21 pumpkins in my inventory. I guess I can go ahead and farm up this entire plot just to show you how much you can make. All right, so we're done farming. And as you can see, one pumpkin sells for 664 star coins. So let's sell everything I just harvested. After harvesting, I have almost 200 pumpkins. And mind you, this is without a buddy. If you had a buddy with you, you probably get maybe almost double that. All right, so do you guys see the number down there? Selling almost 200 pumpkins gets you 90,000 star coins, okay? This is why I say unlocking the forgotten lands if you're focused on money is the place that you wanna be. If you found this video super helpful and enjoyed, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or share it with someone else who may be starting out in Dreamlight Valley and needs the help. I appreciate you watching the video. And if you wanna learn more about Disney Dreamlight Valley, you can watch the videos that have popped up on your screen right here. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.